Hopefully. Uh, today I'm gonna drop it so that I can do a walkthrough slash let's play of it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I just ended up enjoying it way too. I'm already in post game at this point. Characters. Which just means level 9,999. 9, but quad 9 is easier and cooler to say. So, feel free to steal that if you're a Disgaea fan. Uh, Disgaea, this is Disgaea 5. There are five other games before this. Disgaea 1, 2, 3, 4, and Disgaea D2. Now, this follows the same path as um, RPGs like Final Fantasy, where every subsequent game is not a sequel to the previous game. They all have their own stories and dimensions even and all that, which all cross with each other during post game. Not all well yeah, all of them. Starting with this guy D2. Well this guy 2. Uh, I did play all of them except for this guy three and four. So I played one, I played two and I've just, I played this guy D2. The Disgaea D2 is a special case, which is, uh, it's the only game that is an actual sequel. And Disgaea D2 is a sequel to the first one, Disgaea 1. Now this, that's, now we're gonna get onto the guide. The guide, ba this, the guide today is how to max subclasses very quickly on 10 characters in one shot. In, in one go. Very quickly. Now, for this, you need awesome. to have unlocked your squad, a bunch of squads, well, not a bunch, but you need to have unlocked your, where am I going, skill squad. You also need a, I think level 150 at least, I'm not sure what level it unlocks, but you need, you need a high level Geo, uh, Geo, uh, Geo, uh, Sage class. Okay, the Sage class is needed, well not necessarily Sage class, but Sage, I think Thief learns it, there's, there's, there's a few different classes that learn it, but I know for a fact Sage has it, and it learn, it naturally learns the skill Geoblast. Geoblast is what's going to help you max out all your subclasses, and this, what this skill, the skill training squad does is it allows you to give skills like Geoblast to other members of your team which is why you need to put it this this is what I, I'm doing it with I'm training up Kilia I'm training up Void and after I'm done with these two I'll be starting with Crystal and Red Magnus I, I was just going down my list of unique characters and the first two happen to be Void and Kilia in any case um, once you have them in there it's you want to go to your cheat menu and set your enemy strength to 20 stars. Okay, uh... Yeah, actually, you know, you're not gonna be getting any experience, really. But you should, you should put mana. At least 100 mana and put the rest in money. Because you, everybody likes money. You're not really gonna be able to do anything with it. Uh, probably... You know, instead of mana... Uh, yeah, mana and weapon mastery. Just put 100%. Not weapon mastery, sorry, skill experience, so that they could learn the skill that they're trying to learn. You don't have to actually learn it, you, they just have to be, at the very minimum, they have to be in that squad with the sage awesome. as the, with the sage as the leader, and with that skill on her, and she'll be, and she'll be able to pass it along to the other four members of the squad. The next thing you need is a high rank I believe they said, I believe I read you need at least a rank 30 item. Now if you don't know how to get a rank 30 item, uh, rank 30 item, just a rank 30 carnage item. Carnage, the carnage dimension is pretty, pretty much the super hard mode of the game. Well, no, the, the harder version of the game. And it has its own uh, item list. It's the exact same item list, it's just now they're all pink with much higher stats. So you've got a uh, got a couple items here, regular, and then you go down, you have the same exact items in pink. And you see, yeah, see, I got a replica, replica sword, 
And it's glowing green, yeah, but the, the color of the icon is, you know, regular. If you go down, and you find, now you see these are pink. That one's pink, that's the same, it's the exact same weapon, it's just, it's much more powerful. Anyway, you need a rank 30, at least rank 30. I have a few rank 39 items. For example, I have, well, do rank 39 and 38. I've been, I believe I've been using a rank 38. I don't. There's a list online. You can go ahead and look that up. But I have, I have a few 39 items. But what I, no, I did it that way. Much faster. I've been using this rank 38, Clium, Clium Solius, which is the rank 38 sword. I've been jump. What I've been doing is you, basically what you do is you jump in. Once you have everything set up, you jump into it and you just geo blast the geo symbols. Uh, yeah, I'm all set up. Uh, strategy assembly. Let's just make sure everybody has a new class to upgrade, and they don't. So yeah, go in here, pick, pick your two unique classes, and then go ahead and set their new their new classes to be upgraded set a subclass and then go ahead and pick your eight characters now, what I did was I actually went through my entire list of characters and took all the ones that had were able to reincarnate that were level nine quad nine plus they had enough to reincarnate into a uh, genius class character I took them all and I reincarnated everybody into a genius class uh, rank 6 printing the reason being is because you might as well you know what I'm saying so wow okay aha uh -huh, now I see what's going on okay anyway, these guys were like level 1 when I started because I had just like these two this guy like Tabitha she's she was my mage I mean my um my maid anyway so make sure everybody is set with a new subclass. He's done. He's done. These 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 guys here, they're all set already. Like they have all everything finished. But anyway, so that's done. This guy. He's set. He's set. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm using the uh, DLC printies. I might as well. They're unique, technically. So, uh, yeah. Crystal, and that would be it. So, once everybody's all set, now let me just show you. Status, okay. He, this is my Dark Knight. He's all done. He's done. This is the Sage I'm using. All done. All done, 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 done. I'm using, I'm going to be setting him up. I've done this quite a, you know, I've done quite a few of them already. So, same thing here. Done a few. I just decided to random, I just randomly decided, you know what, I'm doing this, I might as well make a video on it. He's all done, he's all done, he's all done. He's getting done. You see, see at the top here, it's a, it's, it, the, the name is in yellow. It says, it's like it says sage, and then all this is white, 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 white. Okay, so, four of these yellow. Look on the right side, you'll see the stars. It's empty. 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 I'm not using them yet. Not, not using them yet. Empty. Empty. Not using them yet. Empty. Empty. And that's it. Those are the, those are the ones we're going to be leveling. Shall we go? So go to your item world, go to your highest rank item. For me, that's a, I'm going to be, oh, I have higher rank items, but I don't want to, you know, because I'm going to be using those later for something else. I'm going in my Cleom Solias. I like saying that. I don't know why. It's hard to say, but it's fun to say. Cleom. Cleom. <laughs> Cleom. <laughs> anyway, go to your, for me, I'm going to be going using the Cleom Solias. It's a rank 38 sword. Go ahead jump into it make sure you have your set at 
rank 20 stars in, in the cheat shop. Now once you're in, you're gonna see bull crap like this. If the first stage is stuck, like has you stuck, you can't just run over here and punch her out of the way and get in by using an item world technique that I'll probably do another video on, then you're just gonna have to go ahead and give up, return, and then do it and go back into your item. Shall we go? Go to item world, climb, <laughs> climb. Now, technically, you can Where's use... Where's the new prey? You can use your sage to use Geo Change and get... Let's go! Um, what's it call it? Uh, can't do that. Anybody else have a fist weapon that can... Come at me like you mean it! Come at me like you mean it! Oh, another thing you're gonna need is... Items that increase movement by three. If you farmed on martial training four and five, you should have plenty of uh, falcon falcon boots. Nah, I'm not gonna. Ch uh, I'm wondering if I could just grab him with that. But I'm not gonna chance it. This is something I should have set up prior. I apologize. Oh, jeez. Okay, let me try. I might as well try. Oh, shit. Was that too okay. much? So it does work. Where is the new prey? And just go in. The reason you're doing this is because you're looking for a map with geo symbols on it. Don't even worry about that because I tried and I couldn't even break it, so I'm not even I'm not even worried. Come at me like you mean it. Come at me like you mean it. Oh, oh, is that too much? Where is the new prey? Alrighty. Ha. New prey. On the next floor, buddy. Aha, okay, so here we have two, three. See, I could, you could do this. You should limit yourself to two. Another thing I forgot to mention is that there are things called bills in this game, which you can go to the Senator Assembly and pass in order to, you know, upgrade your game a little bit. And what you wanted, what you're gonna need to do before you do this is you need to upgrade your dispatch unit if you notice at the top left it says 15 more people the default is 10 but if you pass these bills you can pass three of them and you can upgrade to go from 10 all the way up to 15 and it costs a lot of mana mana is what you, something is like the energy in this game that you need to use in order to, to mess around with the uh, with the assembly all right so once you found yourself some you know a map with geo symbols on it. Go ahead and pull out four trainees. I'm gonna eat One, you, dude. Yeah, dude. Two, yeah, dude. Three, yeah, dude. Four. Okay. I pull got out it. your uniques. Magic chain. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Reason I use. Yeah, uh, dude. I, I mean, you could uh, you could do this with any monster. But the reason I made sure that everybody was exact is identical was simply yeah, because dude. my brain goes and it's like, oh, do oh, let's man, go. Need to, when when I'm at this point, it's like, oh, which one? Which one do I want him to look like? Do, do I want? Which weapon do I want him to hold yeah, this time? Dude, I'm gonna eat you, dude. So do it, do it yeah, twice dude. for both unique characters. I'm gonna eat you, dude. Let's end this quick. Yeah, to change. Yeah, dude. Magic change. Yahoo, dude. Magic change. Yahoo, dude. Fat saber. Oh yeah, when I when I when I build <laughs> my printy for for this specifically, I'm, de I'm definitely naming him Fat Saber. <laughs> yeah, dude. Boom. Okay. 
Now, when you do, when you go, go to move, special, and if you did everything right, you should be able to find the skill called Geo Blast. Geo Blast does an instant kill on these Geo symbols here. Now, I got it. Make sure, absolutely, positively, make sure that you set up both your characters to do a geo blast because the way the game sets is set up it's set up so that all your characters that are going to move and attack move and attack before any results happen so move you attack set up the second one see now normally like let's say everything here was purple and this was yellow right and I, well i hit this one first right and everything everything was purple and I went and I took him and I attacked it and then I hit execute. This would hit and it would take all the panels that are purple and attack everything on them. And what it also does is it instant kills any other geo panels that are on those panels. So if I went and I only did one and I killed it, this is just to make sure that this doesn't happen. If you go and you kill it and it changes and it, it sets off what's called a geo chain you don't want that to happen before your other character gets his turn in order to attack so if that happens and it was the way i said everything purple you hit the yellow one it would turn everything yellow all the purple panels would turn yellow and it would kill whatever other geo symbols were on it so if you set it up to attack and then you go ahead and did and you wanted to do your, your your second guy your second unique character after that you might you might have screwed yourself so you need to set up up both to attack both before you hit exit now they both attack before any results happen get out of the way one two three four five six now the results happen, and everything gets destroyed. I mean, it's not set up the way I, you know, I the, it's not set up in the way I set it up in the picture that I painted for you guys, but make sure you attack both. Now, once that's done, and you count six, make sure you count. You want to count, like I just did. Make sure it says six. Once that's Where's done, the new prey? and you hit six, you go ahead, and you get yourself... Mr. Gen C exit or emergency exit and you get the hell out of there now watch one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten. Oh, oh, the pirate class is one is one of the class. Okay, it's not always gonna do it, but sometimes uh, certain classes. Uh, pirate class is one of them. Um, I believe the twin dragon class is one of them. Uh, the chimera, I believe, is another one. There's a few classes that you're gonna definitely need to attack twice. You need. You're gonna need to kill two. Dark Knight is another one, and so is Sage, but you're going to need to kill two Geo Symbols, even at the highest ranking level that you can find, you're still going to need to kill two Geo Symbols like that in order to max those classes. That's fine. It's quite alright. But as you can see, all the other ones had been maxed. But he's the only one. Everybody else max, 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 max. Go right ahead and do it again. Hungry. Set up all your classes and do it again. And you got to do that 20, 24 times, I believe. 24, 48 times. All right, let's count real quick just to make sure. Ten, uh, 1, 44 classes now this doesn't include DLC so unfortunately unfortunately I did not get the DLC like I thought I was but whatever it is what it is 
I will try to I will try and see if I can get the DLC eventually because I do want Metalia. I want I want all those classes that you're gonna get from the other games, the other the previous titles, including some titles that uh, Nipponichi's uh, Software America did alongside Disgaea. So that's the end of this video. This is Eric on the couch, signing out.